What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm super pumped because we are going to be continuing on with our declutter series. In today's video, I'm honestly like low-key a little nervous for. This is like the part of my declutter series that I've been putting off a little bit just because lipsticks is something that I have way too much of. And honestly, like I know I have too many. It's like no one in the right mind could ever use this many lipsticks. Girl, why do you have that many? I know, so that's why we're gonna declutter it today. Don't worry, because I totally understand that there's no way that I could use all those lipsticks and I would love to be able to donate them to somebody else that could use it better than me. Um, if you guys are new to my declutter series, I basically just go through the makeup that I have and separate the stuff that I actually think that I will use and go ahead and donate the rest as long as it's not expired. If it's expired, I toss it. But I do donate to a couple local women's shelters in my area um, the gently used makeup that I don't think that I will use. I do get some questions about why I don't donate it to like you guys, like my followers and stuff. And I do tons of giveaways for you guys, both on my channel channel and also a lot on my Instagram of brand new makeup. I just personally don't feel comfortable giving away to you guys like makeup that has been used and that's why I donate it to women's shelters and stuff because I don't want to just throw it out but I personally just don't feel comfortable like promoting like a contest or a giveaway of gently used makeup like I would rather be able to give away to you guys brand new makeup that has never been touched which I do do all the time but that's kind of why this makeup is not something that I use for giveaways so I hope that makes sense to you guys let me know down below in the comments what other categories of makeup you guys want to see me declutter as part of this series so far we have done my eyeshadow palette collection my highlight collection and my foundation collection so there's a lot more categories of makeup that we can do and today we're just going to be focusing on actual lipsticks like tubed lipsticks not like liquid lipsticks or lip glosses or anything like that so we're just going to keep it to actual lipsticks today but i can totally do like lip glosses liquid lipsticks or something like that in the future so if you want to see that let me know or any other category of makeup also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already and hit that little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified of all of my future uploads and without further ado let's go ahead and get started i don't know why i'm like this today <laughs> All right, so to show you guys what I'm working with, here is one drawer that is actually decently organized. I have like organizers and stuff in here and some lipsticks kind of put in them. So this I do need to go through though because it's been a very long time since I've done this. So a lot of these may even be expired. So we definitely need to go through them. But then the drawer beneath is kind of like the overflow drawer, which like I can't even find stuff in here because this goes really deep actually, like this drawer, um, and they go like all the way down. So I think the easiest way for me to honestly do this is to just just take this out, dump everything on the floor and go through it that way. I just feel like then I'll be able to see everything because this gives me major anxiety and I really do need to go through it. So I think that is what I'm gonna do. And then I do have this organizer up here which I have put some lipsticks in. I have a lot of the new CoverGirl ones which I really like. This I'm probably, well we should really go through it though. So I'm gonna go through this as well and hopefully I can get a lot of the lipsticks that I keep in here and then not have like too many overflow. All right, so this is what we are working with. I'm gonna go ahead and dump everything out of this big guy. So I just dumped out the one thing. I kept everything in the organizers. I figured it'd be easier to go through it that way. I put a box right here for my donations as we go through and uh, yeah. All right, you guys, so we are gonna go ahead and get started and start to go through these. I'm just gonna kind of grab them and go through. So the first I have, this is from Rimmel. This is their Stay Matte. I'm not gonna be swatching every single shade, but I will show you guys some of them. This is like a very, very nude shade, so I am gonna go ahead and donate this one. And to be completely honest with you, a lot of these have been used before. Anything that's new that I put in the donation pile, I am gonna not swatch just because I don't wanna open it up just to swatch it on my hand, but if it has already been used, I'll try and swatch some of them for you guys. Next, I have this guy from Buxom. This is in the shade White Russian. This is also a very nude shade. I think I actually might keep this, because I believe. Oh, it's a nudie pink shade, like a very pale pink. Um, hopefully you guys can see that. I am gonna go ahead and keep this one. Then we have this guy, this is from Maybelline. It's a metallic. I have not used this. I'm gonna go ahead and donate it. Then I have from the Maybelline Gigi Hadid collection. This was like a really bright, pretty, kind of reddish orange. This one I am gonna go ahead and keep. I do really like this shade, even though I know you can't get it anymore. I do really like it. Then I have another one of the Rimmel Stay Mattes. I'm gonna donate this. I have a Laura Mercier lipstick. This one looks like a nude. I'm gonna go ahead and donate. I have this little guy from Marc Jacobs, like a little travel size. It's like a purple shade. I'm gonna donate this. Then I have a Lip Architect from Tarte. These are actually really cool because they have a liner on one side and then a like color on the other. So I'm gonna donate this one. Then I have this really pretty lipstick. This is from Pretty Vulgar. It's like, ooh, that's actually really pretty. It's like a deep dark red. I might keep this one for vampy 
kind of fall looks. That's pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and keep her. Then I have a little, another little Marc Jacobs travel size, which I'm going to donate. I'm just not really big into travel size lipsticks for some reason. So I'm going to go through and grab, I can see a couple more of these that I have, which I will donate. I actually have some travel size NARS ones too, which I will donate. And then I have this little travel size lip gloss from Tarte, which I will donate. A couple more of these as well. And I have a couple more of the Lip Architects from Tarte right here. These ones I am going to go ahead and keep. I do like these shades, so I'm going to keep these guys. Then I have this guy. This is from Hourglass. This is like a newer kind of product. It looks like this. It looks really pretty. The shade. Let's do a little swatchy. Ooh. Okay. She's very pretty, so I am going to keep this. Then I have this liquid lipstick from Lena Lashes. I'm going to go ahead and donate. And I have an e.l.f. lip pencil in this dark red shade, which I'm going to donate. Then I'm actually going to go through because I can see I have some more of those liquid lipsticks from Lena Lashes. So I'm going to donate these ones because I've had them for a while and have not had a chance to use them. So I figured I should donate them, give them to somebody who can. Then I have this lipstick from Makeup Forever. It's a liquid lipstick. It looks like a pretty shade. So I think I'm going to keep this. Ooh. Yes, gonna keep this one. This one is in the shade 403. I have this guy from Ardell, which I have never opened, so I'm gonna donate. I see this one from Maybelline on top here. This one also, has it not been opened? Oh no, it has been. Ooh, this is pretty. It's like a deep, dark, kind of metallic plum shade in Copper Rose. I'm gonna keep her. Found two more little travel size guys, which I'm gonna donate. Then I have this Bare Minerals. This is in the shade Lux. I'm gonna donate this. Then I have this liquid lipstick. I'm not sure which brand this is for. It says Baby Matte on it. I don't know, and there's no like shade name or anything. It might be... Lena Lashes, again, I'm not sure, but I'm going to go ahead and donate this. I have this Merrill Norman lip pencil. I'm going to donate this. I have this little Ofra liquid lipstick. This is their old packaging, but I'm sure there's nothing wrong with the product, so I'm going to go ahead and donate it. Then I have this pretty metallic lipstick from Pretty Vulgar in the shade My Lips Are Sealed. I'm going to keep this. Then I have these Forever Matte liquid lipsticks. This is from Rupee Kisses Cosmetics. These are actually really nice. I've tried quite a few colors and I actually like this color, but it's never been opened, and I'm sure I have a lot of other nudes, so I'm going to go ahead and donate this. And then I found this one as well, which has not been used, so I'm going to donate it. Then I have this Merrill Norman lipstick. I wasn't a huge fan of their lipstick formula and I don't really like this color so I'm going to donate it. And here are a couple more Merrill Norman lipsticks which I have which have not been used that I'm going to donate. Then I have a lot of these Maybelline guys. These are their metallic. So this one is Copper Spark. I'm going to go ahead and donate her. Then we have Silk Stone which is like a darker gray sort of neutral shade. I'm going to donate. Pure Gold which is like gold. I'm going to donate this one. These are all from their metallic line. Molten Bronze. going to donate. Smoked Silver gonna donate. A lot of these are just not shades that I can see myself wearing, um, including this one, which is in Serpentine, which is like a green. I actually love Maybelline lipsticks, but this line, there was just not that many shades that were gonna work for me personally, or at least not that I would use. And then we have Gun Metal, which is a super dark, so I'm gonna donate her. Then I have this L'Oreal Pro Matte Gloss. I'm gonna donate. Then I have another one, which is in this pretty red shade. This one I am gonna go ahead and keep because I think I'll get use out of it. This is the shade 308. And then I have another of the the exact same one in 308 so I will go ahead and donate this one then I have this kind of purple makeup forever liquid lipstick which I'm gonna donate I just don't see myself wearing this shade bare minerals which I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one this is a really pretty color it's in the shade VIP and it looks like this so it's like a bright kind of red shade then I have this shade also from Bare Minerals. This is a shade I'm less likely to use, so I'm going to donate. I have this super deep dark guy from Wet n Wild. This is in the shade Take It Like a Vamp. I love that. I'm going to go ahead and keep this. You guys can tell I'm ready for fall. I like my fall lippies. Then I have this guy at Bare Minerals. Going to donate. Also going to donate this one. I'm really only trying to keep colors that I really think that I will wear or that I don't have other like favorites in, so... That's basically what I'm trying to do. I have this e.l.f. one. I actually really loved this color. It was like a super bright Barbie pink, but I don't see myself wearing it all that often, so I'm going to go ahead and donate. Then I have the Kylie Cosmetics Court. This is like a bright kind of orange. Um, I'm going to keep this one, I think, because I do really like this. Not really appropriate for the fall, but I do like this, so I am going to keep it. Then I have this Ofra liquid lipstick. This is their older packaging, and they actually sent me all of their liquid lipsticks in their new packaging, so I'm going to go ahead and keep the new ones. They're still in the box, actually. I need to put them in drawers. Um, but since this is the older packaging, I am going to go ahead and donate it. So I'm going to go through and just grab the Ofra ones that I have to donate. Some little minis from Ofra. As we go through, I'm sure that I will find more and I will just put them in the donation box. Then I have another one of the Rimmel Stay Mats. I'm going to donate. Gerard Cosmetics, which will be donated. You guys, I'm doing good. I've kept under 10 lipsticks so far. So we, we are making progress, okay? 
then I'm gonna go ahead and donate this guy. This is again from I believe Lena Lashes. Then I have one of the Lawless Liquid Lipsticks. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. This is in the shade Cameron. I like the formula on these. They're like a demi matte, but they're very, very pretty and that shade is beautiful. So I'm gonna keep it. Then again, we have a couple more of these Forever Mattes which have not been opened, so I am gonna donate them. And then a couple more that I found. Then I have this bright, bright pink, oh my lord, from Bare Minerals. This I'm gonna donate. And I have this CoverGirl Outlast All Day. I actually really like this. I keep it in the box because it's two steps, so I am gonna keep this. Here I have a couple Wet n Wild lipsticks that I found. I am gonna go ahead and keep all these. I really like Wet n Wild's lipstick formula and they're great for affordable tutorials, so I'm gonna keep these. Then I have this Milani lipstick. This is like a bright red shade I'm gonna keep this one very classic red right there then I have this guy from Laura Mercier this is a really pretty nude I'm gonna keep it it's in the shade sensual I'm sorry if I don't say the shade name on every single one that we go through I just feel like then the video would be a hundred years long um here are two more stay mats from Rimmel which I'm gonna donate I have this little guy from NARS I'm gonna go ahead and donate then I have an it cosmetics lipstick Ooh, she is pretty that is a nice neutral shade right there i'm gonna go ahead and keep her i have this little wet and wild these are like kind of lip glosses yeah they are lip glosses they're mega slicks i actually don't think these are half bad and they're super super affordable i want to say they're like a dollar so i'm gonna go ahead and keep this then i have the tarte lip surgeons matte i'm gonna go ahead and donate if you guys have not already seen it i don't really like lip pencils like i don't i prefer more like lipsticks or liquid lipsticks not really pencils i've been donating a lot of those i know a lot of people like these too just personal preference of mine then I have a couple of these really pretty lipsticks from Tarte. This was from one of the collections that they did where they came in these beautiful like packaging. So I am going to keep these just because they're so pretty. Then we have a Flower Beauty. Is this a, oh yeah, this is a Miracle Matte Metallic. I am going to go ahead and keep this one. I think I remember really liking these. Ooh, yes, honey. Definitely keeping so pretty. Then we have the Smashbox X Vlada collab. I'm gonna go ahead and donate this because you cannot get it anymore. And then I have another one from that collab as well, which I'm gonna donate. Then we have a Tempt 2 lipstick. I don't remember really trying this or that brand, so I'm gonna just go ahead and donate it. Then we have, I think this is Makeup Forever, yes. Ooh, bright red, she is pretty. I feel like I've kept so many reds though so far, like I have a lot, but that's really, really pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this, but I'm really gonna knock it down on the reds. Another lip pencil, this guy is from Marc Jacobs. I'm gonna go ahead and donate. Then we have a ColourPop lipstick. This is Beautycon X ColourPop. I didn't even know they really did a collab, at least not that I remember. That is pretty, but like I told you guys, not crazy about like these lip pencil things, so I'm gonna donate. Then I have It Cosmetics. This is like, I think this is like a tinted lip balm. Yes, it is, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep her. Then I have another Lawless Lip Lipstick. I don't know if this one is purpley. It might be, let's see, hmm. I'm not sure that I would wear this shade, but I don't really have anything else like it. So I am gonna go ahead and keep this. It definitely has a much more purpley undertone than most of the other ones, but I'm gonna keep it because I do really like the formula on these. Then we have this Wet n Wild Matte Liquid Lipstick. I'm gonna donate. Ooh, this is a lip gloss. This is from Makeup Forever, and I actually really liked these lip glosses when they came out with them. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. They're like very metallic. Then I have another one of those Tarte Architects, which I'm gonna donate. A Lawless Liquid Lipstick, which I'm gonna keep. Then I have a couple more things from the Gigi Hadid Maybelline collection. I know that you cannot get these anymore, um, so I really won't use them in tutorials, but I remember really, really liking the lipstick shades. Like we have a red, we have a nude, and then kind of like a brighter red shade that's a matte, so I am gonna go ahead and keep these because I did really like this collection. Then we have another Ruby Kisses Forever Matte, which I'm gonna donate, and Ardell Lipstick, which has not been used, so I'm gonna donate. This is another thing from the Smashbox Vlada collab, so I will donate. This is a shade that I am not gonna get used out of. This is from the Ruby Kisses again, so I'm gonna donate this. Gerard Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick, which I'm gonna donate. My camera just died on me, so I apologize if the crop looks different now or like the screen or anything looks different. I tried to make it the same the best I could, um, so let's continue. Continue on. I have this lipstick from Lipland, which these are actually really cool packaging. I'm gonna go ahead and donate this though. Then I have this little guy. This is from VB. Oh, this is from the Estee Lauder Victoria Beckham collection. Oh, wow. That's actually really, really beautiful. Um, and I remember all the stuff in that collection was so nice, but I am gonna go ahead and donate this. I haven't used it and I have a lot of similar shaded things. 
Then I have a Mellow Cosmetics MAC Liquid Lip Paint. I'm gonna go ahead and donate. A Pure Liquid Lipstick, which this shade I'm gonna donate. Makeup Forever Lip Pen, I'm gonna donate this. Then I have a Tarte Lip Sculptor. This is actually really cool. It has like a lipstick on one side and then a matching lip gloss, so I am gonna keep this. Then I have a Pixi Matte Lipstick, which I have not opened, so I'm gonna donate. Then I have a Tarte Lip Paint. I really like this one. This is in the shade Festival, and this was from, I believe, their Unicorn Collection, but it's a beautiful, beautiful color, so I'm gonna keep it. Then we have another little, we actually have a couple little guys that I see, which I'm gonna donate. This is, oh, this is from a MAC collab. This is a really pretty shade, but I don't think I'll get much use out of it, so I'm gonna donate. A super deep and dark matte liquid lipstick, which I'm gonna donate. Another one of those Makeup Forever um, sculptors, so I'm gonna donate this. This is a newer liquid lipstick from Lawless, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep her. And then another newer liquid lipstick from Lawless, which I'm gonna keep. Then I have a little fresh lip balm. I'm gonna go ahead and keep these. These are actually really, really nice. Oh, I have like none left. Oh man, well, I'm gonna keep what I have. Then we have a Milani lipstick. This is like a super dark shade. This is in Sangria. I'm gonna go ahead and donate. Then I have another one. Oh, thank goodness. Hopefully this one I have more left. This is the rose kind of tinted one, but I am gonna keep this. These sugar little lip balms from Fresh are really nice. Another Lip Architect, which I'm gonna donate. Actually, this one might be... No, I don't know that I'd get use out of it. I try and, I try and see, but probably not. Then another Lip Architect, which I'm gonna donate. This is a liquid lipstick from Makeup Forever, which I'm gonna keep. Another Forever Matte from Ruby Kisses, which I'm gonna donate. This is a e.l.f. lipstick. I'm gonna go ahead and donate her. A L'Oreal lipstick. Ooh, that is a bright shade I'm gonna donate. <laughs> then we have NARS. This is, oh gosh, that's a beautiful shade. I'm gonna keep her. Super deep and dark green, gonna go ahead and donate. Another Rimmel Stay Matte, which I'm gonna donate. Two more Forever Mattes from Ruby Kisses, but these are shades that I do think I will get use out of, so I'm gonna keep. Another Lawless Lip Good Lipstick, which I'm gonna keep. Then we have an Elf Lipstick. This is like a bright orange. I am gonna go ahead and donate. Marc Jacobs Lip Pencil, which I'm gonna donate. This is a Burberry Lip Pencil, oh my goodness. This is so pretty, but I am gonna go ahead and donate because I just don't think that I will use it with it being a lip pencil. <laughs> Little tiny guy from Hourglass, which I'm gonna donate. Then I have a couple more over here of the Stay Matter. Oh, these are actually the Infallibles from L'Oreal. I've had these for quite some time and haven't opened them, so I will donate them. Then I have these liquid cat suits. This is from the newer Wen Wild collection. These are really beautiful, so I'm gonna keep them. There were some lipsticks that were hiding on the side of the organizer, so I just went and put them in front of us. We have this Makeup Forever Old Ultra HD Lip Booster. I feel like I remember trying these. Oh, oh, this is something I think that you put on your lips before you apply product. So I actually am gonna go ahead and keep this. Yes, it's a serum. Then we have Gerard Cosmetics. I'm gonna go ahead and donate a Flower Beauty Lip Pencil, which I'm gonna donate. This is one of the L'Oreal Infallible Paints. I think these have like little doe foots. Yes, yes, okay, I remember these. I've had this for a while and haven't used it, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate. And then I have another one here, which I'll donate. Then we have this Julep Liquid Lipstick. This is actually really beautiful, but I have a lot that are this shade that I've kept. So I'm gonna donate. Pretty vulgar lip gloss, I think. Is this a lip gloss? Yes, this is a plumping lip gloss. I'm gonna donate this. Then we have a Wet n Wild liquid lipstick. I'm going to keep this. A NYX high voltage lipstick, which I'm gonna donate. This is like a really cool brown shade. A Mellow Cosmetics, which I'm gonna donate. This is from L'Oreal. Ooh, wow, that's really pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is in shade 102, matte in love. Okay, let's just let's do a little swatch. Oh. So pretty, very similar to whichever this one is. <gasps> oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna keep it though, you guys, because I really do wear a lot of these colors. Like I really like bright oranges and bright reds and stuff, so I am gonna go ahead and keep this. My like only colors are really vampy, bright orange, bright red, or nude. That's like the only kind of colors I wear. I don't really wear many pinks or purples or like any other sort of color, if you guys haven't realized that already. <laughs> then we have NARS. This is really pretty, but I have a billion reds, so I'll donate. Then another NARS lip pencil, which I'll donate. Bare Minerals Liquid Lipstick. This one is in the shade Devious, which I'm gonna donate. Bare Minerals Lipstick. This is a very pretty nude. I'm gonna go ahead and keep her. This is in the shade Heaven. Flower Beauty Metallic Liquid Lipstick. I'm gonna keep this. This looks really, really pretty. Do a little swatch. I'm running out of swatch room, but oh, hello. So pretty. 
keeping her. Gerard Cosmetics, which I'm gonna donate. Ofra liquid lipstick in the older packaging, so I will donate. This is a really bright liquid lipstick from NYX. This is in the shade Vacation. I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. This is a lip gloss from Makeup Forever, which I'm gonna keep. And then Gerard Cosmetics and Makeup Forever. Again, I'm gonna keep the Makeup Forever and donate the Gerard Cosmetics. All right, now we can go through in the organizers. I estimate that I'm probably gonna keep a lot more stuff in these organizers than I did um, in the other stuff because this is newer products, but we're gonna go ahead and go through. Um, up in the first row, I have a bunch of lipsticks from Laura Geller. Most of these I am probably gonna keep. I do really like her lipstick and the formula. Um, so this is Fifth Avenue Ruby, I'm gonna keep. I'm really just gonna go through and see if there's any shades that I don't think that I will wear. Um, and donate those. This is a more nude, which I'm gonna keep, chocolate raspberry. Then we have Liberty Rose Gold. Oh, okay. She looks really, really pretty. That is her right there, so I'm gonna keep. Delancey Delilah, this is like a pinky shade. I probably won't use this, so I will go ahead and donate. Mulberry Street, which this is like a true kind of purpley red. I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. East Side Rogue, again, very, very similar to the other shade. I'm gonna donate. Highline Honey, ooh, very pretty. I'm gonna keep this one. This is like a nude shade right there. That is beautiful. Then we have Prince Street Pink. Ooh, okay, this is like a pretty mauve. This is about as like pinky as I would probably go, so I will keep this one. Then we have, this is a Givenchy liquid lipstick in the shade Carmen. I don't even know how to open it. This is like high tech. This is really, really beautiful. I am gonna go ahead and keep this. This is like the only Givenchy lipstick that I have, or I think like anything from them, so I'm gonna keep it. Then we have Brooklyn Beige. This is a really pretty nude, gonna keep. Again, these are still Laura Geller, which we are going through. Aster Place Tulip. Probably not gonna get a lot of use out of that, so I will donate. Empire State Violet. Ooh, wow, that is so pretty. It's like a pretty metallic. I'm gonna go ahead and keep her. Broadway Glitz. That is super deep and dark, but I feel like this would be a beautiful vampy color, so I'm gonna keep. Bowery Ballerina. This is a nude shade, so I'm gonna keep her. Battery Park Bronze. This is a pretty bronze shade, although I don't see myself getting tons of use out of it, so I'm gonna donate. Bryant Park Blossom. Ooh, okay, I actually really like this, even though it is more cool toned. I feel like I will get use out of that, so I'm gonna keep it. Then we have East Village Orchid, and I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. It's more of like a purple. And then we have Tribeca Tan, which is like a tan nude. Sometimes nudes can be, yeah, this is almost a little too tan. I don't know that I would wear that, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate. Then we have a bunch of the Too Faced Nude Liquid Lipsticks, that line right here. Um, they look like this. And this is how they are. I'm gonna go ahead and keep these because I do really enjoy them. I like the formula and the colors are all nude, so I will get use out of them. Then we have some NARS. This is the NARS Erdem collection. This, I don't believe you can get these anymore because um, it was limited edition. So I am gonna go ahead and donate the lipsticks that I have from that collection. That was such a stunning, stunning collection. Um, but again, I like to not keep too, too many like limited edition things, so I'm gonna donate. Then I have a random Laura Geller that was placed back there, so let's check this one out. Ooh, that one's a pretty shade. This is in Central Park Spice. I feel like this would be really nice for the fall. Yeah, that's really, really pretty, so I'm gonna keep that. Then I have a couple right here which are Urban Decay. I have this one. This is a beautiful, beautiful nude. This is in the shade Naked. I'm gonna keep her. Then we have, oh, these are from the, um, the line that they did. These are like super metallic -y. This is the, I think it was called the Urban Decay Beached Collection. I really, really liked these actually. Ooh, here I am dropping them. This one is in Heat Wave. Yeah, they were like very, very metallic lipsticks, but really, really beautiful. Um, I do think I'm gonna go ahead and donate these though, as pretty as they are, because I have a lot of things that are somewhat similar. So I am gonna go ahead and donate these guys. Then I have a couple more Urban Decay over here, which we will go to. This was from the one of their newer collections as well. Um, these are really, really pretty. This one is in the shade 66. I'm gonna keep that. And we have like a bright kind of orangey pink. This was from the Beach Collection. I am gonna keep this one. This one was really, really exceptionally beautiful. This one is more of a metal, oh. Oh my gosh, guys, it gets hard. These are newer, so I really like them. It's like a metallic-y pink. I am gonna go ahead and keep them. This one is the only one maybe I will not. This is like a darker shade. This is a purple, so I will donate this. Then we have a couple of these Tarte. I remember I love the packaging on these. They're so beautiful. This is in the shade Weekender. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. Then we have Hibiscus. This is like a bright pink, so I will go ahead and donate that. Then we have Ocean Drive which is like a bright, bright pink, which I am gonna keep 
this one because it's not as like pastel-y, so it won't look really that bad. So if I do want a bright pink, I feel like this is the kind that I would go to, so I am gonna keep it. Then we have Sundays, which is a bright orange. I'm gonna keep this. Sea Goddess, which is a purple. I'm gonna go ahead and donate. And then we have Cha Cha, which is like a kind of orangey coral shade, which I'm gonna keep. Then back behind there, we have a bunch of these. These are the Exhibitionist lipsticks from CoverGirl. I really, really enjoy the formula on these. I think they're some of the best from the drugstore right now. So I do wanna keep them just for when I do drugstore tutorials. These are some of my favorite lipsticks to go to. Um, and then I actually have a couple new ones from Maybelline back here. These are from their newer line that they just dropped. Um, and I haven't got a chance to try them out yet. So I do want to keep them because I haven't even got a chance to try them. So that's kind of all of those ones. All right, we're doing good. These are all of the lipsticks that I am keeping so far. So I still even have room in here. I have a couple other that are over here that are liquid lipsticks, which I don't want to put in here. I feel like this is just better for lipsticks, like regular tubed lipsticks. So we are doing pretty good on this front. So I'm going to move this guy out of the way. We're going to finish off. I have this one right here. These are all flower lipsticks. Um, and I did not get these too, too long ago. And I did try some of them, although I have not gotten a chance to try all of them. So I am going to actually keep these. They fit nicely in here. Um, and I don't want to go ahead and get rid of them until I got a chance to try them. And I really haven't had them for that long. So I am going to keep all of these. So I'm just going to kind of move it to the side. I do have this guy right here. These are all from Makeup Geek. These are lipsticks. And I've had these actually for quite some time. Um, but I just have not reached for them at all. And I haven't tried them. So before I go ahead and swatch them, since they are not used, I'm sure that they are completely fine. I am going to go ahead and donate these guys. Um, I think I might keep the holder actually, but I'm going to just take them out and um, put them in the donation pile so somebody can get better use out of them than I can. And we will move on to our last thing we have to tackle, which is right here. So we're going to go ahead. A lot of this stuff, we have a lot of liquid lipsticks in here as well. So this is not just regular lipsticks. So we're going to go ahead and get started. First, I see this Urban Decay. This is from a collection that they did. I'm going to go ahead and donate this. It was limited edition. Then we have another Sexy Mother Pucker. I'm going to donate this guy. Then we have an Ardell lipstick, which I'm going to donate. A NARS lipstick. This one is, ooh, that's actually really, really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and keep. Maybe as I keep some of these, I'll just move them over here so we have them. We have another NARS lipstick. This one is more of a brown shade. I actually like these warm tone browns in myself. This is in the shade Linda. I am gonna keep this. Two Wet n Wild lipsticks. This one is more of a cool tone. I'm gonna donate, I'm gonna keep the red. Then this is from Kaplan MD. I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. Then we have another Givenchy. This is, so I guess I do have more than one. This is like a lip balm from them. I'm definitely gonna go ahead and keep this. Then we have a Tarte lipstick. This one is a kind of plummy purple. I'm gonna go ahead and donate. Wet n Wild, this is a brown. I'm gonna keep, again, for affordable tutorials. These are great. Bare Minerals, which I'm going to donate. And another Bare Minerals matte lipstick, which I'm gonna donate. Ardell, gonna go ahead and donate. This is a Wet n Wild matte. This shade, I feel like I will not use, so I am gonna go ahead and donate it. This is another liquid cat suit. I feel like I kept one in this shade already, so. I'm gonna donate this. And then this is a nude from Wet n Wild, which I'm gonna keep. Then we have a couple of the ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I am gonna go ahead and keep these. I do like the formula on them. So I'm gonna just pop them in here. And then I have a, another one from ColourPop as well, which I'm gonna be keeping. Then I have this Pure. This was a collab that they went ahead and did with JD Wadey, I believe. I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. But I'm going to keep this one. This is a different shade they came out with as part of the same collection. I really like this. Then we have two Makeup Forever Liquid Lipsticks. I'm gonna go ahead and keep both of these. And then I have some more Makeup Forever. I'm gonna go ahead and keep these two and then I'm gonna donate this purple one. Um, the purple one is shade 203 and the two I'm keeping is 101 and 103. Then in here I have a couple from Tarte. These are some of my favorites from their lip paints, so I am gonna go ahead and keep these. Two more ColourPop, which I'm going to keep. Then we have some Lipland Cosmetics. I haven't gotten a ton of use out of these, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate these. Here is another one from Lipland, which I'm gonna donate. Then I have a Too Faced Melted Matte. Oh my goodness, this is old, old packaging, so I am gonna go ahead and donate this guy. Also the Too Faced Lip Injection. I actually really like this, so I'm gonna keep this. I think they have updated the, um, packaging on this, but I'm going to keep it. Two more of the Tartese lip paints. These are beautiful for the fall, so I'm going to keep them. I actually have a lot of their lip paints, so let's go through them. I have a couple more right here. These ones, I think I'm going to go ahead and keep these ones as well. I do really like the formula on these. And then I have a couple more from them. These are all very nude. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this center one in the shade Salty. And actually, you know what? I'm going to keep all these because like I said, I do like the formula on these and I will get use out of the nude shades, so I am going to keep them. These from Tarte, though, these are more like lip pencils. These are their lip lingerie, so I'm going to go ahead and donate these ones. And then we have a NYX Cosmic Metals. I'm going to donate this to 
more wet and wild liquid lipsticks. These are some of the first darker liquid lipsticks that I bought like a while back when I was first getting into color on my lips. So I am gonna keep these. They have like sentimental value. Then we have a couple NARS, I believe. Are these NARS liquid lipsticks? Yes, these are their velvet lip glides. Um, honestly, I probably won't get use out of most of these colors, maybe this one. So I will keep this one. This is in the shade Bound. And then I'll go ahead and donate these guys. Then I have this bright, bright color from Wet n Wild. Gonna go ahead and donate her. I probably will not get much use. This is in the shade Dollhouse Pink. Then we have another pinky shade from Wet n Wild. This is in Don't Blink Pink. Oh, it hasn't even been opened yet, so I'm gonna donate. Another deeper shade from Wet n Wild, one of the first that I got, so I'm gonna keep. A couple more of the mattes. I'm gonna keep this one from Wet n Wild. This is Cinnamon Spice, really pretty. I'm gonna keep this. This one I'm gonna donate in Smokin' Hot Pink. This is what it looks like. Then we have a nude matte from Wet n Wild in Pink Sugar, I'm gonna donate. And then another one of the first ones that I got, so I'm gonna keep any one in this silver packaging, I'm gonna keep, because those were like the first ones. I bought a couple and I've had them forever, so I'm gonna keep them. Then I have this NYX matte lipstick in the shade, bear with me. Oh, I actually really like this shade. This is why I have a double up of it. I have another one of these somewhere, maybe it's in here, but I'm gonna keep this. Then I have a more neutral shade from Wet n Wild. This is Just Peachy, I'm gonna go ahead and donate. Oh yes, this was a matte lipstick from that I love. This is in the shade Sky. This is super, super pretty, so I'm gonna keep it. It's a very nude nude, but I do really like it. And then I have a NYX Butter Liquid Lipstick. I love the formula on this. This is the shade Snack Shack Canteen. That's so funny. This is what it looks like. We'll do a little swatchy. Super pretty kind of neutral shade, so I am gonna go ahead and keep this. Then we have a glossy lip paint from Tarte. Wow, it's been a while since I've looked at any of these. I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. Then I have this butter shade from NYX, which is super bright, but I am gonna keep it because it's really, really pretty. And I don't have many that are like this, so I'll go ahead and keep this one. And then these two butter shades from NYX, I'll go ahead and donate because they haven't been opened, so I'll let somebody else use them. Or shall I say get better use than I would. Um, then I have a couple of these NYX soft matte lip creams. I actually really like these, so I think I'm gonna keep all of them. I think the formula on these is great, especially for the price. So these I purchased all myself, but I do actually really like these. Even these vampy shades, um, the formula on these are really nice, and for the price, I think they're great. So I am gonna keep these guys. Then I have another Kaplan MD, which I'm gonna donate. Meryl Norman, which I am gonna donate. Ooh, YSL, oh my gosh, I cannot get rid of this. Beautiful, beautiful shade, have to keep her. This is in the shade 09. I think this is the only YSL lipstick that I have, or one of very few. <laughs> then I have two of these guys from Buxom. These I just don't honestly get much use out of. I've had them for quite some time, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate them. Then I have a couple more of those Wet n Wild mattes. I'm gonna go ahead and donate all three of these. I just don't know that I'll get a ton of use. Maybe I'll keep this middle one in the shade Cherry Bomb, but I'll donate these two guys. I'm gonna go ahead and fill the rest of this guy up with some of the other liquid lipsticks that we kept along the way. Alrighty, so that is everything. We were definitely able to consolidate. You guys, I have so much in this box over here. I will show you guys to donate, which I'm very excited about. So these are the majority of the lipsticks that I'm gonna be keeping. I do have a MAC lipstick collection. I've collected MAC lipsticks for quite some time, so I didn't show you guys those. Um, I have them in a separate area. I can do that in a separate video, but I didn't wanna include them in this declutter just because I really didn't think I was gonna be getting rid of any of them, if any. Not necessarily like special collections from MAC, but just like their classic line. I have a lot of those lipsticks and I like to keep them. Um, I kind of like collect them, so. But aside from that, these are the majority of the lipsticks that I'm gonna be keeping. I could do a separate liquid lipstick video because I do have just liquid lipsticks in a separate area, so I can do that. This was supposed to be just like tubed lipsticks, but then a couple of these liquid lipsticks were kind of shoved into that drawer, which I didn't realize till I opened it. Um, but this video will be 100 years long if we did liquid lipsticks in a separate thing. But I can definitely do that. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys wanna see me go through my liquid lipsticks. I could totally do that as well. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, please be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. I love you guys so much and I will see you very, very soon. But wait, I wanna show you guys the donation box. This is the donation box. So, so much is in here. I'm very, very excited about that. I think that's gonna be great. And even if they won't take the ones that are used, there's a ton that are new in here that are still in the original packaging and stuff. So, very, very excited about that. And I hope you guys did enjoy. I love you guys so much. And I will see you very soon in my next video.